Hi, this is Gilgamesh, and I'm going to show you how to make a uh, enemy and how to make how you kill the enemy in Blender. So first, let's delete our default cube and add a plane. Add mesh plane. Now, I'm only going. I'm not going to make anything complex. I'm just going to make a basic game that has an enemy that follows you around, and when you touch the enemy, like, by jumping on it, it, the enemy will be killed. So, with your plane, press S for size, and just size it up a good size, probably about there, then press, then hold Alt down, and click the left mouse button, and you can get a free move. That's just a little trick there, but actually let's just do top view. And to do that, you get a view and then top. Now, add, click the spacebar, add mesh cube. Grab that cube, we go over here, grab it by pressing G, and let's give this cube a color. So click on shading down here, add new, Let's make it blue. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to make it blue. This will be your player. Actually, I'm going to move it down here. And I'm going to size it down a little bit by pressing S. Moving the mouse in to size it down. And it's a little not in the right spot, so let's put it there. Now, um, let's go to top view again. And add... Add another cube by pressing the space bar, add mesh cube. Press the S key to size it down. And let's add a color to this one too by going to the shading thing down here. Pressing add new. And I'm going to make this one red. This will be your enemy. Now when you make your game, you can make that has an enemy in it. You can make it as complex as you want, but this is just a simple thing. Now I'm going to move it to see if it's good and it wasn't, so let's move it back up there. Anyway, now let's see what side view is. Okay, let's not do side view, let's do top view. Okay, so we're going right, to click the right mouse button on the blue cube. Go to the logic button down here. Hit add, add, add. Now, we're going to make cube move forward, by on this, move it to keyboard. Then at key, click the left mouse button, and then click up arrow. This is only going to be pretty simple. Then, move the mouse from here to here to connect them. Connect them all, Make go over here and make this d a dynamic. Now we just have to keep... We have to enter these controls here until it goes forward when we press the up arrow. So just try um, putting in different combinations, like put in 10 there, and then we press T to play, press the up arrow and see if it goes up. Now that went right. So, bring that down to 0, try putting this to 10, press P to play, up arrow, and that goes up, so that's good. Now, you can either put all three of these, you can either put... Oh, sorry, the phone's ringing. One sec. Okay, now that that's over, um, you can make these in the negatives or positives, and by doing that it makes it move in different directions, but anyway, we're only going to make it move in one direction. And... Well, actually, I'll make it move in other directions, too, but I'm just going to pause this and make it move in other directions. You know how to make it move, I'm, I hope, now. So, I'll just do that really quick, and then I'll continue with the, with the tutorial. Okay, so, I made all the controls for each direction. As you can see, look at all these things down here. See some, ne it says negative 10 there, 
positive ten there. That's up. That's down. So that's how the positive and negative thing, the thing works. But that's beside the point. See, when I play it, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. So now I have my player. But this tutorial is about the enemy. So we're going to make the enemy now. So click add, add, add. Once you right click on the red cube, and then go from always to key. Wait, no, not keyboard. Never mind. Always to near. And on near, click property. Oh, we forgot something. Go back to right click on the red cube, on the blue cube. Click add property, and go back and just write type in cube at property. So we enter. Then we go right click back on the red cube, go to property, and click in cube. This will make it go towards the cube. Now, make the distance like 20. So it just, this just, the distance is like how far it will go to get to the cube, and it resets once the cube is, the reset is when it stops moving towards the cube as like when it's a certain distance away. But we're just going to put them both to 20 so the cube doesn't stop following the other cube. So then connect those. Oh, and make that a dynamic over here. And we're going to try to make it move just follow it. So let's try 10. Okay. That works. But we want it to kind of go towards the cube. So, okay, that's not it either. Let's try this. Here, one second, I've got to figure this out. I kind of spaced on what I was supposed to do. Okay, so, I figured it out. On down here at motion, make the middle one negative 10. And then when we play it, the cube will fall, will go down towards that one. But, that's not good enough. We want it to follow the cube in all directions. So, we're going to add another one of these and make this negative 10. Oh, wait, I sorry, I didn't connect it. Yeah, we connect it. Then when the cube moves to the side, um, okay, just get rid of that last part. I I just we're gonna make it simpler than I thought. I just, for some reason, can't get it right today, but negative 10 seems a little too fast for me. Let's make this negative 0 0.05. Then when we play it, it'll go a little slower and put and track to it. But, here, there's one more thing we have to add. Add another thing there to the right, click this and go to edit object, on, then go to track to, then on ob, put in cube, wait, this is cube, so type it in as exactly as this name here is, so it be cube with a capital C, and then we connect those, and then it should work a little better. It should actually track the, um, ah, things not responding, hang on. Then, by the way, when you do these, when you do this, always connect these things. So, though, because that's what makes them work. Okay, sorry I'm making so many mistakes here, but this is my first tutorial. Anyway, um, down here in the first motion thing. You don't want it to be negative 0.5. I made a mistake there. You want it to be 0 0.05. Positive. So, I set it to track to the blue cube. And when I press P to play, and I move it around, the cube will follow the other cube. So, that is basic, the basic enemy. Now, 